unlike any other time in history, the technology for how we generate data, the technology for how we analyze data, and the technology for how we bring data together are at a unique context to harness. And Radiant essentially attempts to fulfill the promise of a data-driven decision-making setting for each individual patient. Some of the biggest features are really the real-time data that we're starting to be able to bring in. The other part of the Radiant platform is using new technologies, AI, the ability to bring in multiple different modes of data and integrate it in a much more rapid fashion. The role I see Radiant playing is going to bridge that gap between research and clinical care by bringing in multiomic data, imaging data, and clinical data, and then put that in a common environment, and then through those AI-empowered tools, come back and give us real-time personalized information. The privacy and the security is so critical that it has to be baked in from the very beginning. We really think hard of what are the right technology partners that really allow the secure transfer of this data. We think about ways of making sure the data is encrypted the entire way. People who have these rare diseases can provide their consent and have that data provided in a secure way to the people who are informing their clinical care. The clinician who sees you is no longer only reliant on information that they have ever encountered or learned through their training. The patients themselves are no longer bounded by a decision-making space that's only where they are at. And so sharing data has significant impact both on how we understand very complex diseases as researchers in a community, how we advance that discovery process as rapidly as possible. Under Radiant, the goal is also how that shared data can inform each individual patient as rapidly as possible. Traditionally, medicine has been done to patients, right? They participate in a clinical trial, but their participation is very one-sided. And what Radiant is going to do is make patients more of a participant in their own care and in that research process. They'll have more of a voice because they're able to share in that way. They'll be able to help guide where research and care is going for the future. And I think that's really powerful for patients. Personalized medicine will become more personalized and more precise because we're gonna get better and evolve with each patient. And that infrastructure is what's gonna move us from having just a handful of individuals with their experience at a single institution making decisions, and it's gonna to go to a international database system that in real time, because of the AI tools, can inform. It starts creating this set of infinite possibilities in terms of both knowledge, discovery, science, research, clinical care, and impacting the patients. It's about empowering that data, democratizing that data, it's going to allow us to make better decisions, to have actionable and impactful insight on what's going on with the patient. Being able to be on the cutting edge, being able to use every bit of data that you can to try to guide the care for a particular patient is so critical. And it can really end up saving patients' lives. No matter how much technology we bring into the system, healthcare is a human enterprise. Our goal is to advance the bringing together of those technologies alongside clinicians, the researchers, and the patient community, all into an ecosystem that's dynamic and iterative and interpretable on behalf of real-time decision-making and new discoveries.